risotto is a very tasty dish. Um, there's lots of permutations of it, but uh, it's great for a nice warming winter food and it's still quite a light one to have in the summer. Uh, today I'm going to do one with some salami in it. So for it we need about 500 ml chicken stock or vegetable stock. I go for vegetable stock because I particularly like the brand that we use. Um, one small onion, chopped. One clove of garlic, crushed. 200 grams of risotto rice. Now it's important that you do use risotto rice. This isn't going to work if you're going to use long grain rice or anything like that. We've got about 100 grams of, in this case, it's red wine and fennel salami, uh, which I've cut into cubes. Uh, about 100 grams of black, it could be green olives as well, um, which I've, uh, which are stoned and I have then split them in half. One glass of dry white wine, some olive oil, Parmesan cheese, which will be grated, but I don't need it yet, so I'm going to leave it and we'll grate it freshly when we need it, and some black pepper. We're going to make our risotto in the oven, okay? which is, it can be done on the top, but it's a lot easier in the oven. And for that, we need a nice heavy casserole dish, one that can be used on the top as well as in the oven. This one is uh, enameled and we'll be able to do that job. We're going to start off on the top with a medium heat and a good plug of olive oil. So we're going to add our onions. And the garlic. I've moved the onions onto a slightly faster jet because it wasn't going fast enough before and I've also now put the oven on at 180 degrees Celsius. You can see that the, uh, the onions are going slightly transparent now but they haven't actually browned yet so it's uh, just the right time to add the rice. So I've added the rice and I've turned the gas down and we're just going to stir this until all the grains of rice are coated in oil and mixed up with the next step, <coughs> excuse me, is to add the stock. I'm going to stir around, make sure all the bits in the bottom have gone in. There we go. We're going to bring that to the boil. And as soon as that comes to the boil, I'm going to pop the lid on and stick it in the oven for about 15 minutes. Right, that's uh, just starting to boil now. So the next thing to do is just make sure that all the rice is in the liquid. And we pop the lid on and that's going to go in the oven. Now the casserole has been in the oven for around about 15 minutes, so we can take a look. And you can see it started to thicken and it's, oh, it's, quite, it's just there, it's nice and creamy, I'm getting there. So we're going to now add the olives. to add the red wine, uh, white wine, not red wine, white wine. It's gone quite liquid again, but that's not a problem. I'm going to do, I'm give a good old grind of pepper. And I'm going to pop that back in the oven. Okay, let's uh, take a look at it after another five minutes in the oven. You can see it's thickening up nicely, it's going nice and creamy. Right there. And we'll give it a little test. 
Always use a cold spoon for this, that way you won't burn your lips. Nearly there. The rice is just a little bit firm still, which makes sense. A little bit lacking in salt, so I'm going to have a quick grind of salt. Not too much, because remember we're going to add some parmesan, which uh, I grated, grated while the uh, thing was in the oven. Almost a bit more pepper as well. Give that another stir. I'm going to just pop that in for another five minutes. So that's another five minutes in the oven. And uh, if we take a look now, oh yes, that is well and truly thickened up. You can see now that's nice and creamy. If I just take a little bit of that. Yeah. The rice in there, nice and smooth, no lumpiness. So we're gonna add our Parmesan cheese. Now if you had some, which I don't, this would be the point when you would um, Perhaps add something like some rocket. Rocket goes very nice in here. We're just going to mix that in. All right. There we go. And then I'm just going to stand it on the top just for a few minutes, just to let that settle. And then it's ready to serve up.